fact, it has never been as cold in Chicago as it is today. And around the country, weather records are breaking like crazy. Hundreds of millions of Americans are experiencing freezing temperatures and lower, and that Arctic freeze is moving across the country. Historic deep freeze. In Chicago, the wind chill hit 51 degrees below zero. Minus 50s, those are temperatures that you see in Antarctica. That's how cold it is today here in Chicago. So they're advising people to stay indoors if they don't have to be outside. It's so cold, they set fire to the commuter train tracks to keep them from freezing. The Chicago River is frozen solid. Downtown Chicago is a ghost town. The subways deserted. Most people stayed home. Even the underground shopping malls were virtually empty. 212 million Americans are enduring the coldest temperatures in recorded history. WLS TV meteorologist Tracy Butler. We're looking at wind chills right now as cold as 55 degrees below zero. The wind chill is how it feels on your exposed skin. And that's why it's so important that we encourage layers. Some thieves are targeting those expensive Canada goose coats, which can sell for as much as $1,600. Surveillance video shows a man wearing the coat getting robbed at gunpoint by two thugs who literally steal it off his back. We spoke to Andrew Lund of Uncle Dan's Outfitters. It is more of a luxury item. It's got that high price point, so people uh, might be after it. But also, you, you have to wonder if some people might just need that coat to stay warm. The Sub-Zero Blast is being built all across the country. I'm here on 58th Street in Midtown Manhattan, and the wind chills are freezing. And the wind gusts are incredibly strong. This guy over here is actually holding on. Do you need help, sir? Do you need help, sir? I'll help you. I'll help you. Hold on to me. It's insane out there. This is the scene right outside the window of Inside Edition as a sudden snow squall passed through. <laughs> so what can you do to protect yourself against the brutal cold in Siberia, USA? Dr. Tanya Elliott gave me some tips you may not have thought of. Putting ointments or emollients on the face, a lot of people do it to protect against dry skin, but it can actually give your skin a false sense of warmth. So you, so you think you can walk around and be warmer for longer periods of time, and it puts you at risk for frostbite. How important is it to not only put on layers, but pick the right fabric? Right, and so you want to make sure that the fabric is breathable and also that it wicks off the sweat right away. So you don't really want to put on a bunch of heavy sweaters because then it's not breathable. You're going to sweat, the sweat's going to freeze, and then that's what puts you at risk for the hypothermia.